What is going on everybody? Welcome to a new series. Um, I know this was Random Games lasted so long. I didn't think that one through too well. I didn't expect that in my road to um, a W CSGO Battle Royale I was going to win in the second episode. Or the whole thing would have been pretty pointless. But um, we're just going to play Civ 6 instead. I thought why not? I had no idea. I was thinking about just trying some Fortnite. But I, I realised you'd probably hate that. So that's, this slot is still open to that stuff, but time, from time to time there's going to be a series of games in there that I don't have to, like, always have running, if that makes sense. Like, there's a slot for EU4, Hoi4, and Civ5 AI only. There's another slot for Civ5, which would also be for Civ6, which is where Venice is, but, yeah, I want, I want to try to play Civ6 again, which is the second part of this shock and horror of this. Oh my goodness, we're playing Civ6. Yes, we are. And we're going to play as Korea. There's no deep, profound reason for that. I just scrolled through the list about one minute ago before this video started and decided on Korea because I've never played as them before. If I remember correctly, standard game speed, we're going to go on a Pangea map and we're going to go for a very small map. Six players. Yes. Just make sure everything's on small. Uh, yes. I just want this to be like a small game. Um... Not one that takes ages to load or anything. I'm going to actually Prince difficulty. I don't know if I can get away with dropping to Warlord. But because this is going to be a fun series, you you didn't see that. There we go. Let's hit start. Let's go. Um, so yeah, it's like new. I mean, because it's in this slot, if I don't like it, I can just get rid of it. Or I can do a different episode on the day if I don't want to make it. Because this is the random slot. But yeah, let's just have something there. So what can we do as Korea? Now would be a good time to read this. Governors, <laughs> governors established in a city provide 3% culture and science for each promotion they have earned, including their first. Three kingdoms. Mines receive plus one science if there is an adjacent seal warm district. Farms receive plus one food if there is an adjacent seal warm district. We can build seal warm districts. Um, and the Hawacha, which is a unique land unit. So there we go. So these seal ones, probably pretty important, plus governors are going to give us science and culture for promotions. So we want to focus on our governors as well. And then mines and farms next to these unique districts, which seem to be science related based on that logo. I wanted to show you the setup, so sorry if it takes a little while here. Don't know who the other seven civs are. They're all there. There's no mods. I have Rise and Fall, so all those civs are there. We're playing with Rise and Fall. I'm sure some of you have seen me air my opinions on the newest ex upcoming expansion which I have somehow rising tide no rising tide rising where have I got tide from I don't know whatever it is it's something like that I, I can't remember it might be rising tide would make sense but I don't think it's quite that it's something similar to that or it might be that um at the moment it's currently priced welcome to Skyde will introduce you okay that shows you how much I played as Scotland I think I, I probably should have read that. We'll be fine. Um, one thing I hate about Civ 6, and this is not a ga the game's fault actually, but it's so basically for Civ 5, if I want to edit my videos, to line up the audio with the video, I would press grid G for the grid button and say grid at the same time, and then no grid, grid, no grid, four times. So then I could easily line it up. But here you can hardly see, and in Movie Maker, yep, laugh at me, my ed poor editing software, you can hardly see this because it's confined to like a small window, it's very blurry, it doesn't like load in at the full thing. I see coffee, I see some horses, some sheep, some stone, some cattle. That's not great, but we got one luxury, so I'll take it. Here we go. Gyeongju, there we go, that's, a, that's our capital. And oh, there's some more luxuries down here, that's alright, and we may as well explore that way. That's where we got the best visibility. Where do we start research? Where where on earth do we start? I am I I am not an expert this game as you can probably tell. I think what do we have? What do we have around us? Let's try and be smart. I think sometimes not playing it smart enough. Irrigation is that an option? Is that I think that's a later option. Twenty turns for sailing. We don't need that anyway. Uh, let's go animal husbandry. Nice one to start on production. I think it's recommending the monument. I think we should build a scout. Eight turns. Okay. Seems a bit long, but fine. Whatever. Okay. Let's keep exploring. Oh, is this a? Is that just a lake with the sun really, really brightly reflecting off it? What am I 
I do that? For some reason I thought I could like use A and D to get around the map, but no. Okay, I think it's just a lake, or it might be the actual coast, like a bay or something. But yeah, we've gone for a few sieves just so it's not like the most takes ages for like. Oh no, it's a lake or a lagoon. I think it's the technical term, something like that. My geography knowledge, hopefully coming through. Having discovered another continent, we realize there is a wild, wide world of trading opportunities. Your progress towards foreign trade is boosted. Oh, nice. Civic boost and new continent, Madagascaria. Good name. <laughs> Love it. How do I... Oh, yeah, I, li I do like these maps, lenses, continents. That was pretty easy. What, what continent are we on? East Asia. Really creative naming. Civ from East Asia is in East Asia. How, how about that? For a surprise. Um, let's go this way. Oh, yeah, that looks like that's just another lake, too. <laughs> How weird. <laughs> Can have the most pointless canal city ever. Although that is a lie, because all canal cities are incredibly useful. Um, one thing I always end up like not noticing is my turn, because it's not like the big loading thing there is normally. It just sort of skips ahead. Let's go around this lake. I want to come back a bit now. Three more turns for animal husbandry. Nice. We're getting there. Oh, hello, city state. And we got our scout. Let's send him out this way. Chocolate, cocoa, both. Either way, very good resource. You've met them. They've given us a quest. Destroy barbarian outpost within five tiles. Oh, I may as well help with this. We did it. There we go. Our civilization has accomplished something historic. Okay, we got two points towards avoiding two like era points. I can't remember what they're called, <laughs> but we're all good start to avoiding a dark age. And we boosted a civic too. Barbarian camp plus two era score. That's what it is. There we go. I don't know why I just called it. I think I called it era score. So <laughs> that works out for everyone. Animal husbandry is done. Nice. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep trying to find our neighbors. We haven't found anyone yet. Texts take really long in the early game. Uh, pottery. She, she's recommending pot. She's also recommending mining. Uh, I don't think we have anything that needs mining around. So, I don't know. There is stone, but pottery is probably more useful earlier on. So we'll go for that instead. Makes sense to me. Oh, we found Mount Kilimanjaro. We're just doing loads of things right now. It turns out Mount Kilimanjaro is not Wi-Fi enabled. So I had to spend two weeks in Tanzania to visit people on my trip. It's <laughs> quite funny. Astrology has been boosted. That's useful. That was one of the ones that was going to take ages. We were the first to discover that, which gave us a tech boost. I think. And we're up to 5 era score already. We only need to get above 12 to avoid a dark age. You know, golden ages are a push. You know, if we can avoid dark ages, I'll take it. Just finding more stuff. Some diamonds. Maybe a good spot for a second city out here. And who is this? Gitarja. Indonesia. Ah, cool. I don't know exactly who. We exchanged information on capitals. Ah, oh, she's down there. That's pretty close. And we boosted writing too, which I assume because we did that. Maybe. We've got another era score. We're already halfway through. I don't know when this era that we're in ends. Did it say seven to... Oh, and this is the Khmer? Yes. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. He didn't ask us to see where his capital was. I assume he's up here. And we finished this. Plus five combat when fighting... Barbarians, yes, and production or faith and gold. Let's go God King. I think that we might go for a religion. Actually, we're probably going to be a science -y sieve, so I don't know if a religion would play into that. And we may as well go for a trade right off the bat. My mouse keeps like, the wire keeps falling down this hole, <laughs> getting stuck. There we go. Oh, and it fell straight back down again. It's just a lot of resistance. Maybe I should explore a different way instead of just straight east. Doesn't really matter. Got three sieves left to meet, which isn't that many when you think about it. Um, so hopefully they're not all too close to us. Hopefully there's plenty of space to get some cities. There's probably some more to the west. I obviously stop going that way in the end. Looks like there's someone up there we're going to meet next turn. Oh, another city-state. We're not first. But oh well. Hello. Nice to meet you, city-state. Does Yeah, there's definitely someone here. And it is Saladin of Arabia. Lots of Asian sieves in this game. I mean, technically all of them are in Asia, right? So Arabia's in Asia, isn't it? Yep, had to work that one out quickly. Settler, he's recommending a settler already? 
Seems a bit early to me. I was going to go for a builder, since no barbarians have spawned near us just yet. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. Maybe if I just did episode ones of Civ Six series. Oh, and there's Greece. I thought that was who. I thought that was who we'd already met. Um, or maybe this is Greece. I don't know. No, that's Greece. This must be. I don't know who that is. That's not Arabia. No, I want to do one more turn. I was going to end the episode, but I want to see who that is because that probably means we'll have met everyone. That will give me a good title. Meeting our new neighbours. <laughs> Great title there. Maybe it is Arabia. I don't know. It's white and blue. How are Khmer already... I assume that was barbarians. Like, how are you How are you really at war with somebody? Maybe this is... Oh, that's the Khmer. Okay. Yeah, we won't find the other Civ just yet then. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, it would be awesome if you could leave a like and a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe as well. Oh, dang it, Barbarian Scout. I see you. I'll have to build a warrior soon. Or a slinger. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.